Okay, well, welcome back to the River Club to give you another update on our project. We have, we're down to 29 days before our proposed opening of the first week of March. And we have made a lot of progress since our last video. But I'll be honest with you, we do have some tight issues. Um, our pergola, I, which I mentioned before, is, is uh, delayed a little bit. Some of the furniture might be delayed. But we're still optimistic. We're still shooting for the first week of March. But we're not going to open until we're really completed. So I want to be honest with you on that. We are within the budget, so that's a non-issue. So it comes down where the rubber meets the road, all the final detail work that needs to be done in 29 days. So I'm going to turn it over to Eric, and he's going to tell you where, what progress we have made up to this point. All right, thank you, Mr. Merrill. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through a lot of the spaces. We have a lot of things that have been accomplished in the last few weeks. Obviously, we have some things that still need to be done, uh, but we're making great progress in that target week of March 1st uh, timeframe. Uh, that's what we're looking for, for completion. Uh, so let me go over some of the things. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the bar is starting to, to look like a bar. Uh, bar equipment's being installed right now. The uh, TVs will go in uh, next week. Uh, if you see the uh, pieces of um, framing will be going in, that's on the back over there. That's going to be right in the front here. So a total of eight TVs in the center of the bar area. Um, like I mentioned before, we still have some sound abatement. Uh, like I mentioned, there's that uh, uh, rendering of the um, Estero River that goes around the whole perimeter of that. Uh, this is the sound abatement, this yellow uh, material goes around on the top portion where that used to have the portholes. Uh, that's going to have the imagery of the Estero River. We actually have it on site right now. Looks beautiful. That's going to go in starting next week. And then uh, below that, there's going to be uh, the sound abatement again, but just with a, a white fabric. Uh, so that's going to be going in starting next week. Uh, you can see, um, obviously, we're starting to remove some of the um, materials from the floor so you can actually see the beautiful floor here um, just really really nice stuff uh, we actually have a lot of the furniture coming in uh, the week of February 12th so very exciting uh, the carpets we're going to start going in in the east west and south dining room those are going to start actually next week uh, so let me take you into some of those spaces but you can see some of the lighting's already started uh, to go in. We're putting, we're keeping it uh, shielded right now. Still we have to do a little bit of fine tuning on the uh, paint job, uh, but it's really uh, starting to look beautiful around here. Okay, so we're in the south dining room. Uh, you can see that uh, behind me we just, we're starting to put some TVs in. Uh, this will be a picture frame TV, so when we're not having sporting events, uh, we'll also just have uh, nice imagery on there. Uh, lighting has started to go in. You can see that around the perimeter. We have the chandelier as well. Uh, we do have some speakers that are going to go in starting next week. Um, the picture frame window, window that's behind me, uh, that's getting p painted on February 5th. And then we'll start putting the glass into that area as well. Uh, we will be retenting all these windows. So that's starting next week as well. Uh, carpets going in. Um, so a lot of things happening within the next few weeks. Uh, let me take you into the other spaces. All right, so we're in the east dining room. Uh, I've been talking about this space for a while, but uh, if you can see above us, this is uh, actually wood uh, with um, sound abatement behind it. Uh, this is really a beautiful look. Definitely uh, transforms this room from what it used to be to what it is now. You can see these beautiful chandeliers. Uh, and then we're going to start having the whiskey jugs on the back wall there. That's going to be on both sides of the PDR room. Um, so that's going to be on both sides. Uh, so they're going to start putting the shelves in. That's going to be about the 12th of February. Uh, carpet's going to be in this area here. Uh, let me take you into the rest of the areas. The banquettes are going to start coming in on the 12th of February. So we're in the private dining room. Uh, they'll seat uh, two tables of six. You can see behind me, we do have a nice cabinetry uh, with the TV. So this room will also be used if we need for any committees. 
that we have or any private uh, dining spaces as well. Again, same kind of ceiling uh, that we had in the other room. It really looks great, but really starting to take shape. All right, so we're in the uh, outdoor dining space. You can see the gentleman uh, behind me uh, getting a lot of work done today. Um, beautiful pavers. This is the same pavers that we have on the pool deck. Uh, it's starting to look really great. These guys just started yesterday, so you can see how much work they've uh, done. So really great team. You can see above us, we still have to do the tongue and groove. Uh, that's gonna be starting uh, next week. Uh, if you see here, we started putting the hardy board on here. Uh, this will start getting the, the paint. Uh, this is right now just primer, uh, but it's gonna be the same colors that we have on the other side of the building, which is the jogging path and the oyster white. Uh, we do have the uh, louvers that are gonna come in. Those are those sunshades. Those are going in uh, most likely uh, the middle of February. And then uh, as Mr. Merrill mentioned, the only kind of things that are taking a little bit longer than expected is the pergolas. Those are getting painted right now. Um, and then also the railings. Those are the two last things that still need to be uh, done, uh, but they are uh, in process. And uh, the other thing that's out there is there is going to be an awning between the two structures that's still in fabrication. So we might open without that piece, but we don't need it for the CO. So we'll make through that, but uh, making a lot of great progress, great team over here and uh, looking forward to the future. All right, so we're located in the uh, ladies restroom. Uh, we're still working through a lot of things, but you can see the floor is done in this area. You can see that we do have the cabinetry in the sink, uh, just waiting on the mirrors. The uh, lights are all in this area. All the toilets are in, but it's starting to look beautiful. Um, obviously the finishes like um, the uh, picture frames and all those type of things, those are starting to come in on February 12th. Uh, so you'll start seeing a lot of that uh, in the next videos, but uh, we're making great progress. All right, so we're in the storage closet right now. I just wanna show you that we have all the plates and the glassware, silverware, all the uh, things that we need to open the restaurant is on site and we're ready for customers at some point, but uh, we're gonna start unpacking these things in the next uh, few weeks and we'll be ready uh, to serve you very soon. All right, so we're in the kitchen. Uh, we can get a lot of things done here. You can see that we have the uh, Coke dispenser. We also have the iced tea and coffee brewer. We have a, a espresso machine as well coming in. Uh, you can see that the kitchen is starting to really take shape. And let me show you some of the uh, other things that are going on on the kitchen side. So we'll go over to the uh, walk-in coolers. All right, so we're uh, at the most important cooler in this whole place. This is our beer and wine cooler. So you can see it's running already. And if you can see inside here, these are the beer lines that go out to the bar. So they're already plumbed in pretty soon. We'll have some kegs in here and ready to serve you very, very soon. Uh, dry storage is good and then we also have the walk-ins over here. This is a walk-in cooler and walk-in freezer. So within the next few weeks we're going to start getting food into this area. We have health inspections scheduled. We also have our, our certificate of occupancy scheduled as well. Uh, obviously Mr. Merrill mentioned the dates and uh, we're really working through a lot of uh, little things but you'll see a lot of busy bees in this area for the next few weeks and we're looking forward to serving you very soon. Well, thanks, Eric, for that update. As you can see, we have made a lot of progress, but we do have a lot of work yet to be done. Because we're getting down to the wire, we'll give you a more frequent update. Hopefully, another week, we'll give you another update because a lot will be happening in the next week or two. So again, thank you until we see you again.